Chapter 856. Hello and welcome to another episode of the Pod D Cast. It's me, Bestie Guy Boy, and of course is Hypocrite That Man. The most popular YouTuber. Yes. Yes. Me. Hypocrite is a god. And now we're talking about chapter 856. <laughs> liar. Liar. I mean, Usotsuke. Oh, wait, yes, yeah, speaking of liar. Usotsuke. Yeah, yeah that, that little thing in the in the front, the, the cover, is like the, the sort of thing that's on Liar Nolan's head. And it's called Oh, that's liar. true. Wonder and the, that's we were deliberate. talking about... We were talking about how there's a little guy on the on the front, like, splash page, which is uh, Frankie built a little robot body for a crab who's getting bullied, which is adorable. And on the bottom, there's a little guy who looks like a Dragon Quest slime, but I think he's actually like a chestnut or an acorn. And that's just like the thing that's on Mont Blanc Cricket's head and Mont Blanc Norland's head, actually. The whole yes. Mont Blanc line. They got those guys on the gay heads. Oh, no, my website crashed. Okay, so we're back to the mirror world. What the fuck is happening what now, What the fuck Gibbs? has happened? Everyone's Please. in the mirror world still. They're asking the mirrors, where's Sanji and Luffy? And they're like, huh. Nam Nami knows that they probably would be at one place because Luffy said he would go back there. And that's yep. it. That's basically, they're just deciding. This was a... They're thinking mm -hmm. about mm -hmm. going to see him and talking about what would happen if the wedding happened and I don't know. <laughs> this is an extremely straightforward chapter yeah. for the most part. <laughs> okay, then what happened? Well, wait, there's a few little bits. Of, what was the thing with Peckham's? Oh, they said that he's fine. Apparently he's just fine, even though he got shot a billion times and thrown yeah, off a cliff. Yeah, but who said he was fine? Who knows? Uh, was it Wait, Jinbei? I forget. Yeah, Jinbei said he was fine on the uh, next okay. page. Huh. Yep, he's fine. Don't worry about him. <laughs> nothing, to, uh, nothing to be concerned about. All right, now this nobody is fucking dies in right, one this, piece. This is <laughs> the actually yeah. interesting first part. Uh, uh, in Sweet City, we got uh, the big mouth guy. I forget him. Uh, what his name is? Big mouth guy. You know the know fucking the bishop. The oh, uh, 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 uh bo Bobbin. 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 Yeah. Right. He's he's mm -hmm. dragging his sword. He's like, oh shit, I got shot or something. Something happened to me, and he th and he falls. Down. It appears that something else happened to him, right? Like, I yeah, was crazy. Like, it looks like something else happened to it him. It looks yeah. like he was just assassinated by... It looks like there's a panel with three, like, shrouded figures in the rain. Now, this could this could be, like, the, the wrench in, in the plan. Because, like, at the moment, we know kind of what could possibly happen. The wedding yeah. will go down, and or it won't. The cake will explode, and mm -hmm. they'll escape with the plans for the, you know, the, the poneglyph. But yeah. now, I think... Back when uh, Reiju got shot, I was considering, like, maybe fucking a Blackbeard Pirates guy is here, or someone else is trying to steal the Poneglyph, or the, you know, the, the wedding be. is a big is a big Oh, moment. that'd be great. There I hope be, a Blackbeard Pirate shows up. Yeah, there would be, like, there would be a reason for somebody to come right now, because there's a wedding planned right, right. to try and stir shit up. So these three characters, whoever they are, they're going to fuck things up, because they kill Bob and he's dead. He's not alive. Or he's, you know, injured. And you know, uh, uh, it's a shame that I thought he was gonna, we were gonna see him do something cool. But this is also real interesting. Uh, man, what the fuck happened to this guy? I got no idea. But I, I hope it does work out to be something on a grander scale, because uh, things are getting a little bit. Yeah, I think. Uh, I think um, for? regardless what of, of of what happens, the results mm -hmm. of this wedding is gonna be news that spreads all over the place. And oh yeah. I think oh, yeah. that if if they ever find out. You know the 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 straw hat pirates have the poneglyphs the big mum had, then mm -hmm. you know everyone's going to know about it and it's going to be a big old kerfuffle, a big old hullabaloo from then on. Mm -hmm. And you know my be... first instinct was that it was. Oh, sorry, what were you saying? Well, I was going to say like uh, when we flip over to the 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 what was it Zo? No, not Zo. The Wano Kingdom. Wano, yeah. That that they might start to to feel. Like, they might suddenly have stuff happen to them because they're in that kingdom, and then, you know... Sure. They're the Straw Hat Pirates. Oh my god, kill them. And they Kaido, got the Poneglyph. Yeah, Kaido is... Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And I'm Kaido sure is a red Poneglyph, too. He wants Poneglyphs. Everybody wants Poneglyphs. Oh, yeah. It's it's exciting stuff. And, you know, I was going to say, I thought that Bobbin... My, my first thought was that he was probably assassinated by the Vinsmokes, but on the very next page, we see yeah, they're off doing other shit, I so... first thought, so... The Vince yep. Smokes are all in there drinking it up and being all like, haha, we're so cool. Lol. Um, 
That's basically what they're doing. They're just drinking. They're having a good time. They feel like everything's Being going their way. Being true gentlemen, by not taking advantage of these drunken ladies who are not able to consent to romantic encounters, young men out there, teach yourselves not to rape just like these young heroes. <laughs> that's what. That's your moral of One Piece <laughs> forever. <laughs> there you go. Yes, follow the Vince Smokes example. Mm -hmm. They're good boys. They're good boys. And they, they, all, they almost sort of like say, you know, Sanji's not that bad. He helped us get here. Uh, yeah, cheers to Sanji. And it's sort of it's like... It's the first nice thing they've said about Sanji. He's so useless. We were able to make his uselessness a strength, and it was real good. Thanks, yeah, buddy. Yeah, so um, con compared to what happens next... You know what? But, I'm sorry. Before what? we go on to the next thing, I just want to raise one quick point. Is there really any... Like, uh, I get why they would use Sanji in this marriage. He was just, like, a spare that they had lying around. Yeah, like, sure, they'll marry him to one of Big Mom's crew, and it'll be great. But there, I don't see any reason at all why they couldn't just marry one of the normal sons to, like, any of Big Mom's daughters, and, you know, that's, that's it. Just, like, do it with one of them. Then you don't have to worry about Sanji at all. Like, why can't one of the sons just... Or, or judge himself, you know? You well, know, what's think... uh... What's I mean, the need for Sanji here? Well, the need for Sanji is because they just don't want to, and they have a. But they don't they seem to really a, care, brother. you know. Well, like, like if Capone they have, doesn't mind. If Sanji is like the, there's like yeah, let's just get him. You know, there's a wanted poster. Um, we know he's mm -hmm. a pirate. It just if he gets captured, we'll bring him over. If not, you know, we'll do it some other way. Like this is just. The easiest yeah, you know, I, I guess it kind of shows the flippancy of, like, their involvement with Big Mom. It's purely for strategy. Like, yeah, I mean, it would be a hassle to just get married to some lady who you don't know. That That's true. So, eh, I, I guess, I guess. I guess I'd, I'd like it to be a little bit stronger of a clear reason why it has to be Sanji. Ah, but whatever. They're a bunch of assholes. I can see them doing miscellaneous assholery stuff like this. Ah, so, yeah, not a criticism. Not a criticism. Just a thought. Just a thought. Yeah, so I mean, that at this point in time, they assume Sanji is completely locked down, he can't do anything, he can't escape, he can't leave, mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. there's no reason for them to worry about him not obeying them, so... And they are really, really relaxed about this whole thing. I mean, frankly, they seem so relaxed, it makes me think that something else is going on that we're going to learn about later. Like, they are so... I don't know. Oh, and, and uh, uh, I don't know if this was mentioned before, but like Judge clearly states here like, yes, we're going to marry Big Mom and we'll finally be able to enact our ultimate plan of retaking the North Blue. I think that had been stated before. I think that was obviously their plan. Yeah. But to hear him say it again was like, yes, okay, that that's our goal. We're going to fucking retake the North Blue. Gotcha. Because they were the kings of it for a while or whatever. That's cool. But God, they're so relaxed. They're so, they have their guard. My, uh, my I've got my back turned and my defense is lowered. And, uh, you know, I just, that's going to bite him in the butt. Uh, you know, they're in, they're in technically enemy territory until this marriage happens. I don't know. I, it just seems odd that they're so freaking relaxed about it, but whatever. Yeah, it, it does kind of seem kind of odd, but I don't know. Maybe they're mm -hmm. just super, It seems a little super, bit like um, a convenience, but whatever. Uh, what do you call it? Confident Like, Vince Smoke is a super genius on the level of Vegapunk, so like... For him to not perceive any potential well, maybe, danger. Well, maybe he's, like, really uh, science smart and not, like, social skills smart. He, he could he have the he autism. Know how he could have the autism and not be able to read social cues. <laughs> be quite That's a progressive totally possible. Character. Oh, my God. That's the reason why he was so mean to Sanji his whole life. Because he literally has autism and didn't understand that Sanji is a human being who deserves love and compassion. The main villain of Sanji's whole arc <laughs> has been autism all along. <laughs> yep. Oh, my God. I fanta and all his sons, all of the other sons have autism. Yeah, he, except he, he for Sanji. genetically engineered them to have autism, just like him. <laughs> the ultimate superpower. <laughs> <laughs> With a retard the ultimate strength, people. Yeah, that's right. Retard strength. Yep, yep. It's the, it's the oh best my God. thing to be. And Reiju is the only one who, uh, because she's a woman, she has superior moral and uh, ethical, and you know uh, she's perfect because she's a woman. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then we go back to uh, the skeleton that is Luffy, who oh, looks yeah, like who right. looks more like a monkey than he has ever looked. That's this, yeah. I suppose that's true. He's got that sort of like full like that that uh, curvy out sort of upper lip sort of thing going on. He looks like an old ass bitch. Is what he <laughs> yep. looks like. Yeah, we we, uh, we discussed uh, this last time. And uh, yeah. it's basically what we thought would happen, but not quite as hilarious. 
He like, has never, ever looked this haggard, and it's been like 48 hours. He has literally gone for like a week without eating. No need to go over it again. I just, I still yeah. think this whole thing's a bit silly, but, you know, whatever. Now, um, this bit where he eats the food, uh, Sanji mm-hmm. dropped it. I can't remember whether this has happened. Uh, it's, it's, I mean, yeah. it's happened before. I'm just trying to think. Has it happened with Sanji, with his mom? Did that happen? That's that's or exactly it... what the reference here is. It's okay. to his whole his mom. I was I was I just mean, thinking you know like it's also like the time when Zoro ate those those rice balls that the girl made off the floor. Yeah, that's true. And he said they were good, even though they had dirt in them and shit. I think that's just a thing yeah. people do in in manga and anime. Like, I oh, I like love you so much here. that I'll eat your shitty food. You know. Yeah, like it's it's really kind to just lie to people and say that their food is delicious, even when it's obviously not. Uh... Like, uh, uh, you know, just to go back to it, I think that get, eating that food may have killed Sanji's mom. Eating his food <laughs> may have pushed her over the brink. So it's not always a great idea to force yourself to eat the shitty food of people that you care about. I'm just saying. But, I mean, it, it's fine. Like, Luffy, it just spilled or whatever. But, you know, it's weird to me. Like, this is, this is like, clearly an emotional climax, like, flashback sort of thing happening here, because it's a direct parallel to the scene that we're supposed to, is supposed to emotionally resonate with us here, of when Sanji did this with his mom, and yet, it was not totally clear, like, you even asked, is this a reference? It was not made explicit that that's what's supposed to be what's going on, even though it obviously is, if you just, you know, look back at that scene. I mean, it's it's weird, because they drew attention to the fact that Sanji made it, you know, it it, it got all fucked up and then Luffy eats it anyway. It's like, of course he was going to eat it. Like, there's not even a question about that. He, he like, he's starving to death. He is star- Like, th- this isn't like the situation that Sanji's mom was in, where, like, she needs to be careful of her health, and eating it was, like, going out of her way to show how much she loved him. Luffy is literally starving to death and would eat anything. This is not a compliment. This is not, like, a really nice thing Luffy is doing to show how much he cares about Sanji. He's starving to fucking death, right? Like, that's, that's what we're being told to believe is happening. So, like, this does not really emotionally work the same way as that previous scene so uh you know what the fuck yeah it's a bit i think they're relying a bit too much on that trope even though like it doesn't make sense in this particular context but yeah. whatever son he eats and he's so happy, um, so yeah he's, he's cool. all happy he's like yeah it's real good sanji good job mm, nice and then so he's like you fucking <laughs> shut up shut up and go away i gave you your food and here's the reasons here's the the reasons why this sort of reminds me of the sort of thing like a, a young kid would do. Nami. Um, well, it reminds me of Arlong Park and uh, Annie's Lobby with Robin oh, yeah. in a big way. It's just yeah. like those scenes. It's, it's just, it's the, the sort of like, you can tell they're just sort of, they've been thinking about how to say this and they've got a list in yep. their head like, well, he's all the reasons why I'm not coming mm-hmm. back. And he's trying to be all like, this is just very normal and serious and I'm not even having any feelings. So it's, it's pretty obvious what's going to happen next. He's going to hold back the tears and Luffy's going to say, fuck you, idiot tell me the truth see that's what's great about a, th- this is moments like this is when luffy shines like forget that first scene like this is the emotional payoff that that we deserve for this particular story because sanji is all stuck in his head and he's thinking about like okay these threats have made against zef like i can't go against them because zef would be put in danger i can't leave because like my family's going to be murdered and like i still feel some loyalty to them even though they've been so cruel to me and yeah you know there was like some other reason or another that he couldn't do it as well but like luffy just he luffy the simpleton that he is is just so, is so pure and just sees through all that bullshit and is like, no, that's retarded. You obviously don't want to be here, so just don't fucking do you know, it, bro. You know what it like, is? It's really, it's really the spirit of Kamina that he's challenging like that. Fuck the rules. I don't care. I'm going to make it work however I well, want it to. It's, that's it's what not, Luffy's doing It's not here. just that. It's, it's almost like, like Sanji is becoming more like his autistic father by making a list <laughs> in his head and trying to be oh a serious. Oh my god, he's and, letting the autism get to him now! Yeah, fight it! Fight he's, it! he's letting that sort of... that sort of like categorization and all that stuff is like yeah this is just the logical path and then luffy's coming back with emotions and it's like this is you're real and he punches him it's like wake up idiot stop being autistic stop being an idiot you know that's be, a pretty genius be point true, i didn't be even true to your emotions and all that i didn't even think of that i didn't even think of that um uh, parallel to the father and like the the cold emotionless calculating way of the other vin smokes that's an excellent point um yes but you know um 
just in regards to the emotional thing, I'm not a guy who is overly into like emotions as like a reason to be doing things, and I'm I'm pretty results oriented. But in this case, I think it totally works because what we're talking about is the entirety of the way Sanji is going to live his life from like here until he possibly gets murdered like later that day or like the next day or whatever. So like it makes perfect sense, even just purely logically. For, for Sanji to step back, like, observe how he is feeling, to assess his honest emotions. Which I think is, is really the genius of what Luffy's saying here. He's not saying, like, ah, just do what you feel like, fuck the consequences. Luffy is really saying here, like, make a a reasonable, like, a full uh, analysis of, like, how you feel right now about the choices you're being forced to make. And even if it's, like, a big gamble, like, pursue the path that ultimately will lead you the way you want to go in your life. And that, yeah. that is what, this right here is what makes Luffy a great character when he wants to be a great character. And it doesn't happen all the time, but at big emotional climaxes like this is when Luffy can really shine. And I think this, I think this is the height of the whole arc right here. I think this yeah. is the moment. And it's not, uh, I really uh, liked uh, it. There's another thing also, another parallel. Mm -hmm. Is, oh, and um, it, it goes. Sorry, it goes without saying that like Sanji. Oh, he he brought up like his first reason was like I disrespected my captain. Like I attacked you. Like there's no way. Like and Luffy just doesn't give a fuck. Luffy doesn't give a fuck about that shit. I mean, because obviously they're they're fucking brothers. They're fucking brothers. You know, uh, it's yeah. good stuff. Well, but I'm also, sorry. Go ahead. Go also, ahead. that Luffy could understand that it wasn't like sincere. Like he knew there's something. Right. Oh, he knew all along that Sanji wanted to. You know. Oh, but, and yeah. that and just the line. Just the line Sanji says about, I want to go home to Sunny. Ah, ah, it is your home. That is your home, Sanji. You, you're, you're a family. You're a brother. Oh, God. Oh, and the tears. Oh, that, this is like almost as good as the I want to live moment with Robin. It, yeah. it, like, it, doesn't, it obviously doesn't have the big climax moment. That it's is not an quite obvious parallel, high. but I was thinking more yeah, of, yeah. there's a parallel here with uh, Sanji being like holding back mm -hmm. his, his emotions and stuff, because he's quite an emotional yeah. guy. You know, he goes crazy about the women, and he gets really yep, angry yep. at Zoro and people who's doing stuff with food that he doesn't want. Yep, yep. Like, he's quite an emotional guy. Being all like serious and, and logical is not like him. And it and the holding yeah. back the tears is also, it's it's like when he left Barity in the first place. Like he was just like, yeah, uh, see old man, whatever. And he turns around, <laughs> yep. and he's like, oh my god, I love you guys. I'm so sorry <laughs> for being an idiot. And it's like, yeah. yeah, that was the coolest. And it's just like, this is true. This is Sanji. He's a, he's an emotional guy, and he should have he shouldn't have been bottling this up for so long. It's a real good you know, voice. I don't blame him. He had a, he had a, he had some real shit to deal with this arc, but uh, I think he's I think he's 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 nearly completed his journey now. He's 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 completed his intellectual and emotional journey now, and now it's just time to fucking execute the plans that have to be executed and wrap this bad boy up. So, and man, I'm excited. This was this was great stuff. Really looking forward to seeing. Uh, the, the sort of the fight climax now and, and see what the fuck happens with the wedding and shit. And by the way, uh, Luffy is still missing that tooth yeah. and was not healed as I suspected he would be by this meal. But well, this you know, Oda took it a end. little different direction. It might direction. happen near the, near the end of it. Like when they have I still think maybe the... Uh, yeah, I was thinking like, you know, because I said before I was wrong about like the feast being the thing, but maybe like some feast thing will happen because Luffy has not been restored to like 100% with this like little meal. Well, you this know is what? just like a little... I think yeah. it would be quite incredible if this just stays as a part of his character design, like the, the scar on under his eye and the thing yeah, on his yeah. chest. Like it just shows that, you know, pirates have scars and battle marks and stuff. Like if he just has right. a tooth or, missing, yeah. he doesn't look ugly or anything. It's just like defined. It's like, you know, just noticeable enough. You know, I'm, I'm not really opposed to it. Uh, I just, I, I just for whatever reason, I don't see it sticking. But, but really, from like, from a character design reason, if nothing else, I don't think Oda really wants to draw Luffy forever with a tooth missing. But hey, I, I could be wrong. I don't know. Uh, I, I'd be interested to see if that happens. That that might be cool. Yeah. Oh, and one thing I didn't quite mention, mm. didn't go yeah. over, um, was the fact that one of Sanji's reasons was like he he doesn't he, even though he kind of hates his family he doesn't want them to see them die and then early mm -hmm. in the chapter you know his family is like you know what Sanji's okay for being a piece of shit cheers to Sanji I feel like this is setting up for a Vin Smoke sort of redemption some somewhat you know it's gonna be mm -hmm. they're gonna help the Straw Hats escape maybe or or something something will happen to where they're not fighting at literally everyone. You know, uh, I, I totally see what you're saying, and I, I agree that that definitely is, like, sort of being implied here. I'm still holding out for some big bait-and-switch moment. I still think things are a little more obvious 
than they're eventually going to turn out to be. I don't know. I, I could be totally wrong, but I agree that that's definitely what's being implied here. And but but I, I, again, just the the content of what they're saying is that like they're not celebrating Sanji on any like emotional like oh we really appreciate him for what he did they were they're praising him as like a useful tool that yeah. has been you know like well used to to further the I think, Vinsmoke I think interest it's, i think so. it's mostly the fact that sanji is still doesn't want them to just die he's not he's not prepared yeah. to just run away with the rest of them right now that's true oh and by the way like the thing about being a tool is what, what's funny about that whole tool thing is that might actually not be such a uh, uh, like a a vague or such a non-flattering criticism to say that he was a useful tool because as the as the emotionalist people they are, I think the Vinsmokes kind of value each other only because they are useful tools. So it might be you know actually kind of the highest praise they can give someone to be you know in a utilitarian sense useful. Uh, so yeah, maybe that's maybe that's a, a, a higher form of praise. Than, than you or I would make, or that Sanji or Luffy would make on a, on a more emotional level. Yeah. But hey, cool things happening. Vince Mokes, interested to see what happens with them. I'm really curious about those those uh, those shrouded figures. I, I really want to know if there's some other group fucking around. Yeah, me too, me too. Uh, I look forward to it. Yeah. All pretty right, good, well, I think chapter. that's about it. It, you know, it did turn out pretty good in the end. Pretty straightforward, but uh, definitely good. Ended on a very strong note with the whole Sanji-Luffy unification. Oh, and Luffy ends on the big, all right, it's like, so he's like, yep, Sanji, we're, we're coming together. We're family. Let's go wreck that fucking wedding. I, I can't wait to see what that plan is. It's going to be great. It's going to be yeah. great. It's going to be really exciting. <laughs> all right, and that's about it. Yeah, any other further points to make? Nope. All right, thanks for listening, everybody. That's the pod cast. Uh, the fuck you. And uh, thanks for listening, everybody. See, See ya. ya.